basketball fans, <clears throat> and forgive me right off the bat for the way I sound. This is Bill Murphy, and we are here at the Red Zone, and we are getting ready to get the 2018-19 basketball coverage season underway here on Hicksville Community Television. I am here along with Chris Warner running the camera. Jim Seiler, like me, under the weather, not able to be here tonight, or at least not for this first game. And uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna limp through as best we can. I'll apologize in advance if the play-by-play -play is not as constant or as in depth as it normally is but I'm only gonna be able to do as much as my voice will allow me to do. The uh, Lady Aces opponents here tonight will be the Paulding Lady Panthers. And we'll be here for both the uh, ju Junior Varsity and the Varsity Contest. JV is up first. They did not post the starting lineups in advance, so we're trying to... Tip controlled by the Panthers. Number 10, that is Claire Schweller. Passes it over to 11, Brooke Ankney. Number four is Olivia Bakel. On the floor for the Aces, number three, Avery Slattery. Number 14, Macy Eicher. Turn around and knocked out of bounds off the foot of number 42, Katie Strayer. So the Lady Jackets will, or the Lady Aces will take over. Uh, Macy Eicher is number 14, Kennedy Phillips number 20. Izzy Smith is number 22. And Kelsey Monroe number 25 for the uh, Lady Aces. Maggie Manns, number 20, is the fifth player for the Paulding Lady Panthers. Long shot, air ball, controlled down in the corner. Cross court pass, drive in, shot up, off the iron, no good. And slapped out of bounds, it'll go over to the Lady Panthers. As I mentioned, Chris Warner here with me tonight, running the camera. We have a new camera tonight, new high definition model. We'll see how things work out with it. Chris's first basketball game too that he's run camera on, so we'll see how he does here tonight. Glad to have you with us. Again, Jim Seiler not with us tonight, but he and I will be bringing you the basketball coverage throughout the upcoming season, both boys and girls, junior high, freshman, JV, and varsity action here on Hicks TV. No score, 421 left to go here in our opening quarter. And again, I apologize. I know I sound terrible. I'll do the best I can with the play-by-play -play and we'll just bear with us and understand if we have some long stretches with no commentary because my voice is only at about 50% right now. Lady Ace is working around. Slattery, top of the key, takes the shot. Off the back of the iron, no good. Rebound comes down to Strayer. She tosses it off to Schweller. Schweller tries to work her way inside, runs into some trouble and gets the ball taken from her. Stolen away on the pass, but the Lady Aces get it back. And a bit of a scrum down there by the sideline. Kennedy Phillips battling for the ball. Aces retain possession for substitutions of the game as number 34, Lily Rarig comes in for Paulding, and number four, 
Serenity Keysbury in for the Aces. Slattery, cross court pass to Smith. Back to Slattery. To Phillips. To Serenity Keysbury. And back to Slattery. They're working it around the perimeter. Double dribble. Call that one on Smith. Only infraction so far has been against the Lady Panthers. One team foul. Drives along the baseline and she's going to be fouled on the baseline. And that'll be first one on Keysbury. Common foul, so the Panthers will have it out of bounds. Ankney to handle the inbounds play. Gets the ball in. Again, working around the perimeter. Also in for the Aces now, number 21, Veronica Vasquez. Shot up, it's short, and it'll go out of bounds into the Lady Aces. 2.38 to go in quarter number one. Inbounds to Slattery. Vasquez on the wing. To Phillips, down the corner to Keysbury. Excuse me, that was to uh, Monroe. Now Keysbury takes the shot, and that'll get tangled up and go out of bounds. And it'll say Paulding's ball. And that was kind of a close call. They had two players, one from either team, wrapped up with the ball going out of bounds. So Paulding brings it up court. Claire Schweller looking things over. Schweller drives down towards the baseline. And she's going to be fouled. And that'll be team foul number two on the Aces and the first personal on Avery Slattery, number three. Bakel comes back into the game for Paulding. She'll spell Mans. Quick inbound, shot no good. Phillips grabs the board for the Aces. To Monroe, over to Slattery, back to Phillips. Keysbury down in the corner. Out to Phillips, top of the key, into Monroe. Her shot off the iron, no good. Phillips gets the board, gets it down to Vasquez. Vasquez drives baseline, puts it up, no good. Ball's caught by Ankney for the Panthers. She tosses it over to Schweller, who's quickly up court. Her shot up, and it's an air ball. Saved before it goes out of bounds. Lob pass, and that one is going to go out of bounds. It'll go back to the Lady Aces. Zoe Vaya, number 15, checks in for the Lady Panthers. And an official timeout while one of the Aces players, Vasquez, needs to tie a loose shoelace. Got that taken care of. Slattery inbounds to Phillips. Vasquez. Pass between the legs, stolen away, driving onto the bucket. Slattery saves the easy layup. She will foul at second personal on Avery Slattery. 
and first shooting foul of the night as they send uh, Claire Schweller to the line to shoot two. See if they can break this scoreless tie. Schweller's first shot off the iron, no good. Slavery, Slattery rather, will come out of the game and back in number 22, is he Smith? Mann's back into the game for the Lady Panthers as well. Second shot is good. Claire Schweller, first point of the night for either team. Phillips to Vasquez. Keysbury, back out to Kennedy Phillips, to Monroe, Smith, slapped away, down the floor, pull up jumper, is good. Two points for Manns. Makes it a three to nothing game. Vasquez shot, no good. And a whistle and a foul on the other side of the court. Nope, not a foul, excuse me. They're saying that uh, Bakel went out of bounds when she was on her back. Long shot, no good, and that's the end of the first quarter. And after one of the junior varsity game, it's the Paulding Lady Panthers leading the Lady Aces three to nothing. Little time here between the uh, quarters, and that's when we say thank you to our sports broadcasting underwriters for the 2018-19 basketball season. They are the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio and Community Memorial Hospital of Hicksville, Ohio. We want to thank them both so very much. They are providing their underwriting support, making it possible for us to bring you lots of basketball coming up here on Hicksville Community Television, including, of course, when we get to next spring. Ah, next spring. Uh, we'll have, uh, of course, the postseason coverage for you as well. Remember, if you're in the market for a vehicle, brand new, pre-owned, car, truck, van, or SUV, check out the great selections they have on the lots at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick and Jim Schmidt Ford here in Hicksville, Ohio, or check out everything online at jimschmidtauto.com. And, of course, our good friends, Community Memorial Hospital, they're proudly serving the Hicksville area's health care needs for 65 years. Community Memorial Hospital, in Hicksville, you can find out more on their website, which is www.cmhosp.com. I want to thank them both again for their continued underwriting support of Aces Basketball on Hicks TV, the Jim Schmidt Family of Automotive Dealerships, and Community Memorial Hospital of Hicksville, Ohio. And we got some new faces out there. Jade Sigmund is on the floor now for the Lady Aces, as is number 12, Patient Salisbury. And we'll have a quick foul. And that's going to be on Izzy Smith pushing off. Team foul number four on the Lady Aces. Lob in, shot put up, no good. Rebound comes back down to the Lady Panthers. Another shot, and that one's no good. Rebound comes down to Paulding yet again. Schweller takes the ball back out to the top of the key. Cross-court pass to Bakel. Back to Schweller, back to Bakel. Driving in to the paint, puts the ball up, no good off the back of the iron. Shot was made by Manns. Smith with the rebound down to Phillips. Back to Smith. Smith drives. And she will be fouled and she will go to the line. Not sure who that personal foul was on, but two shots for Izzy Smith. 
Chance to draw the Lady Aces a lot closer. Misses the first one. She'll have one more. She can finally break the scoring ice for the Lady Aces. And she misses them both. Rebound comes down to Manns for Paulding. Over to Schweller. Guarded by Salisbury. Ball stripped away by Smith. Shot up, no good. That was Eicher who took the shot. And she will be fouled. That one is on Schweller for sure. And it will put Macy Eicher, the freshman, on the line. Shooting two. There we go. Misses the second one, so it's three to one, the score. Schweller runs into some trouble. Ball snatched away and then stolen away from the Lady Aces. Up and shot is no good. Put back, that's no good. Third try, that one goes down. I think that was Schweller that finally put it down. That makes it five to one. Salisbury shots no good. Bakel with the rebound, tosses it over to Schweller. Schweller passes it back to Bakel. Loose in the middle of the floor, and it'll be a jump ball. Possession arrow will give it to the Lady Aces. More quick substitutions on both sides. And we'll be ready to get back into action here. 4-10 left to go in the half. Monroe passes it down to Eicher, whose shot is no good. Put back is. Smith with the bucket and the foul. That's team foul number four now on the Panthers. Iker hits it and draws the Lady Aces to within one. Excuse me, that was Smith. Mans down to Stroyer. Passes over, shot is up and good from Rarig. Makes it seven to four. Monroe kicks it back out to Smith. Back to Monroe. They're working it down, trying not to get trapped in that corner and a shot and a foul from Macy Eicher. Hope I take that back, that was uh, Smith drawing the foul. So is he at the line to shoot two? First one's good. Salisbury will come out and Keysbury in for her, for the Lady Aces. Second shot, no good. Put back, no good. That's over the backboard and that'll turn it over to the Paulding Panthers. And we'll have a timeout on the floor. First time out of the evening, called by Paulding. Ding. 
So <clears throat> low-scoring junior varsity game here tonight. As again, uh, not quite halfway through the second quarter, the Lady Panthers leading Hicksville. 7-5 to five the score. So far, Paulding has committed five team fouls. And the Lady Aces have four. The only Lady Ace with, uh, well, Avery Slattery has two of those. So she's the only ace sporting more than one personal foul so far this evening. Head coach for the JV squad for Paulding is Matt Arolano. And of course, Ryan Miser, JV coach for Lady Aces, back in action. Mans kicks it down to Bakel. Tries to feed it down low and it goes out of bounds. Phillips will bring the ball up for the Lady Aces. Her pass inside is deflected and stolen away by Paulding. Down low to Mans. Mans pulls up, takes the shot off the iron, no good. Rebound to Iker. Iker almost travels, but not quite. Phillips, nice looking shot, but just off the mark. And another jump ball. Called as they are going for the loose basketball down on the paint. Possession arrow points to the Lady Aces. Nope, to Paulding, excuse me. Mans gets the inbounds, takes it across the timeline. Strayer finally. And we're going to have a turnover. I think it was a, a three-second call in the paint. Phillips with the ball for the Lady Aces to Iker. Down to Keysbury. Back to Phillips on the wing as they'll work it around the perimeter. Vasquez now. Take a shot from the free throw line. No good. And they'll turn it back over to the Lady Panthers. Partially blocked, and Phillips comes up with it for Hicksville. Iker passes it down to Vasquez, and Vasquez travels. Takes that little hop step as she was lining up to take the shot. Minute 41, and the Lady Panthers have the ball back. They lead by a bucket, 7-5. She's fouled. That was uh, Bakel going to the hoop. That'll be on um, Engman Rowe picks up her first personal. And we'll have a quick timeout. I believe that one called by the Aces bench. And this is going to be a full one minute timeout. Hicksville down by a bucket and Going to plan their strategy here. They'd uh, really like to be able to head into the halftime locker room tied. And if they're not able to do that, obviously the fewer points down, the better. Keep it a single possession game here. And again, as I said, uh, we'll be taking a break here at halftime. We'll have the second half for you. And, of course, uh, Chris and I are going to be sticking around 
for the varsity contest later tonight as well. Starting to see some members of the student section slowly trickle in, crowd filling up a little bit. It's a Tuesday night, so. Early in the season. So Olivia Bakel at the line. Shooting two. Gets the first one. That's her first point of the night. One more. Got them both. Good looking free throw shooter. Bakel makes it nine to five. Phillips down to Iker, the corner to Keysbury. Now out to Izzy Smith. Smith to Phillips, inside to Monroe. And Monroe's going to go to the hoop and get fouled. Kelsey Monroe goes to the line. Team foul number six on the Panthers. Monroe misses the front end. And gets that one to take a friendly bounce. Makes it nine to six. And that's gonna be a reach in. Nope, it's gonna be a timeout. Paulding calling a timeout with a minute 10 left to go. And they're going to take a full one minute. Work on their strategy to close out this first half. Well, I have to say, if the Lady Aces uh, do, a, do a little better job from the free throw line, this would be a much closer game. But kind of cold from the charity stripe here so far tonight. Get ready to get back into action. Minute 10 left in the half. Lady Panthers with the ball. Mans will bring it up the floor. Mans top of the key. Flips it over to Bakel. They'll work it around inside. Nothing there. Shot from outside the three-point arc. No good. That'll get carried out of bounds. That was Ankney that pulled the trigger from three-point land. Last touched by the Aces, so the Panthers will hang on to the ball. Inbounds, and Kennedy Phillips almost steals it away. It gets taken from her by Bakel, but then Bakel travels, and I'll turn it back over to the Lady Aces. Monroe inbounds to Phillips. Phillips to Smith, back to Phillips, to Iker, Keysbury. I'll work it around again. 35 seconds and counting. Phillips pull up jumper, no good. Saved on the baseline, but grabbed by Paulding. Mans with the ball now with 23 seconds left in the half. Over to Ankney. Ankney down in the corner to Bakel. And we're going to have a foul as Vaya tried to go for the shot. Team foul number six on the Lady Aces.
First shot from Via, no good. 12.7 seconds left in the half. Zoe has one more shot here. And that one's no good either. Iker grabs the board for the Lady Aces. Takes it down, shot up by Phillips, no good. Out of bounds with 3.6 seconds. Paulding's ball. Quick substitution as Schweller will come back into the game. Ankney will step out. He's going to try to hold him, and they do. Time expires, and that's the end of the first half. So we've played the first 12 minutes of basketball here tonight at the Red Zone. And at halftime of the junior varsity game, it's the Paulding Lady Panthers leading the Hicksville Lady Aces 9-6. to six. We'll take a break, but stick around. Chris and I will be back. We'll have all the exciting second half play-by-play -play coming your way right here on Hicks TV. Welcome back to the red zone as we're about 40 seconds away from getting the second half of action tipped off here. Junior varsity girls basketball. If you're just joining us a halftime score, it's the visiting Paulding Lady Panthers leading the Hicksville Lady Aces nine to six. First half unofficial scoring for the uh, Lady Aces. Uh, they were led by Izzy Smith, who had a bucket and two free throws for four points. And then a free throw for a point to both Macy Iker and Kelsey Monroe. That accounts for their six points. On the Paulding Panthers side, their leading scorer is Claire Schweller. Claire had a bucket and a free throw for three points. After that, a bucket for two for Maggie Manns and also for Lily Rarig and two free throws for two points for Olivia Bakel. And that adds up to nine. So there you have it. Lady Aces with the ball to start quarter number three. Down by three. Monroe to Iker. Back to Monroe. Phillips down in the corner. And that one goes out of bounds. He'll stay with the Aces. And again, if you are just joining us, I, as you can tell, I'm still battling a cold or flu or the croup or something. I don't know. Whatever it is, wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Been hanging around with me for about three weeks now. Now, well, maybe two weeks since Thanksgiving. Haven't been able to fully shake it. I know I sound terrible. I apologize for that. But we're going to get through and do as best we can here tonight. Mans with the ball for the Lady Panthers. Alley pass inbounds, turn around jumper up and good for Strayer. First two points of the second half go to the Lady Panthers. Off of the hands of Monroe, but she gets it right back. Down into the corner, and that one goes through the hands of Smith and out of bounds, and it'll be a turnover to the Lady Panthers. And quick timeout called by the Lady Aces bench. It'll be a quick 30-second timeout as Coach Miser wanting to get his girls calmed down and refocused right away. Don't want to get this quarter started off with a strong Paulding run. 
to put the Lady Aces down any further. They're trailing by five right now. Ready to get back into action here. Balding inbounds down at the baseline. Ball in to Schweller. Schweller works it down to the wing. Tosses it down low. And we're going to have a Strayer was looking for the, the foul, but uh, did not get it. Nice clean block. Inbounds to Strayer. She puts it up. No good. Take it back out to Schweller. They'll work it around the perimeter. Mans gets the ball under control. Shot up off the glass. No good. Grabbed by Eicher. Eicher feeds it down to Slattery, whose layup is no good. And we'll have a jump ball. Underneath the bucket. And that'll go to Paulding. Back into the game, Lily Rarig, number 34. Rarig inbounds to Schweller. Ball loose on the floor. Grabbed up by Manns. Manns to Strayer gets it back out to Schweller. Over to Ankney. And it winds up in the hands of Avery Slattery. Slattery tries to throw it down the court. And we're going to have a foul on Macy Eicher. Throwing the hip there. And that'll be the first team foul of the second half for the Lady Aces. across the timeline to Schweller. Schweller over to Bakel. Bakel to Schweller, back to Bakel, and now back to Manns. Manns puts it up, no good. Monroe grabs the board. Monroe. Shot up off the iron, no good. Kelsey Monroe takes another shot, no good. Neither she nor Smith able to get the ball to go through the hoop. Schweller over to Bakel to Manns. In to Strayer, back to Manns. Manns for three. Whistle and Aces ball. 2.44 to go here in the quarter. Shot up no good from Smith, but she will be fouled. I think they're going to give that one to Bakel, number four. First team foul on the Lady Panthers. Smith's free throw is good. Makes it 11 to seven and she'll get one more. And that one's no good. Slattery though grabs the rebound. Shot up 
Back Keysbury, no good. And we'll have another jump ball. That should stay with the Lady Aces. Vasquez back into the game for Hicksville. As Smith will sit down for a bit. Inbounds to Phillips. Back to Monroe. Out to Vasquez who lines it up. No good. Rebound grabbed by Bakel. Gets it to Schweller. Schweller holds things up for a bit to let him get their offense set. Bakel over to Ankney, down low. Shot up, off the glass, and good for Vaya. Vaya makes it 13 to seven, and the Lady Aces now down by six. Stolen away. And here come the Lady Panthers with a minute 27 left in the quarter. Shot up, air ball, and out of bounds. It'll go back to the Lady Aces. One thirteen left on the clock. Slattery with the ball, takes it up. Down low to Monroe, turn around, jumper no good. Keysbury with the rebound and we'll have a whistle underneath the bucket. And I think that they're gonna give that one to Vaya. Vasquez, inbounds to Slattery, launches, no good. Bakel grabs the rebound, knocked out of bounds. And it'll stay with Paulding. Hope that'll be a foul, rather. That'll be on Vasquez for pushing. Schweller, quickly down the floor. Schweller holds up, tries to throw it back. It's deflected, and it comes up into the hands of Avery Slattery. Slattery almost loses the ball. It's loose on the floor. Still bouncing around, unescorted. Grabbed by Monroe, finally. Vasquez looking for some help. She's trapped, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Paulding. A little banging and booming down there. Monroe inbounds to Phillips. Long three, no good. Rebound comes down to Ankney. She loses the ball. It's grabbed by Slattery. Slattery with 15 seconds gets it to Phillips. Slattery top of the key to Phillips. Down to nine seconds. Salisbury down to five. Slattery drives in and gets the bucket. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. Last second shot, Mavery Slattery makes it 13 to nine. Paulding Lady Panthers still in the lead. So as we get set for our fourth and final quarter tonight, again, we want to say a big thank you to our basketball broadcast underwriters making our Aces sports coverage possible. The Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, and a Jim Schmidt Ford. And of course, the Jim Schmidt truck lot. Winter weather already here. If you need to get your vehicle up to speed, up, you know, all that Maintenance taken care of for winter driving. Stop by great service departments at both dealerships. Find out more and check out the entire dealer inventory online at jimschmidtauto.com. And also Community Memorial Hospital. Got their Saturday bump clinic, their after hours clinic. 
Got Doc Haggerty here tonight, helping out with the medical needs, if there are any, of the teams. Great partners and great members of the Hicksville community proudly serving the Hicksville area's health care needs for 65 years, Community Memorial Hospital. Find out more. Lots of stuff they have available for you. Their website, www.cmhosp.com. All right, last six minutes in regulation. Schweller with the ball for the Panthers, stolen. And they're going to say a double dribble before the stolen pass. So Paulding turned it over before the Aces stole the pass. Either way, Hicksville gets the ball. Iker back to Monroe. To Salisbury. To Smith. Loses the handle. Ball goes out of bounds. Back to Paulding. Panthers up 13 to 9. Half a minute into our fourth and final quarter. Shot up. And that's good for Strayer. Four points for Katie here tonight. Makes it a 15 to 9 game. Smith over to Iker. To Salisbury. Down in the corner, Iker looking for some help. Back out to Salisbury on the key, on the wing, rather. Driving in, and that'll be a foul. That'll be uh, Strayer. Team foul number three on the Panthers. And that will send Macy Iker to the line to shoot two. Oh, that one did everything but go through the cylinder. First one's no good. Mace will get one more. Gets that one. And timeout after the free throw. Taken by the Aces. Quick 30-second timeout. Hicksville will have two timeouts remaining for the balance of the game. Paulding can still uh, call three timeouts if they need to. Again, uh, three team fouls committed so far in this second half by the Lady Panthers. And only two by Hicksville, so neither team in foul trouble. Fifteen to ten the score, and four minutes, fifty-eight seconds left in regulation. It will be the Panthers ball. Via inbounds it. Mans with the ball right now over to Schweller. Schweller quickly. And Pass down to Strayer. She can't handle it. And it winds up being a jump ball. And it'll go over to the Aces. Monroe gets the ball into Slattery. Iker. To Salisbury. Back to Slattery. Top of the key. Over to Smith. To Iker, to Salisbury. As they'll work it around the perimeter. See if they can get something to open up. Shot off the bottom of the baseboard. And a whistle, and it'll go over. 
to the Panthers. Via bounce pass, intercepted by Slattery. Slattery to Monroe, to Iker off the back of the iron, no good. Salisbury grabs the board, trapped on the baseline, looking to get it out of there. Gets it off to Monroe. Monroe around to Slattery. Lady Aces will set their offense again. Smith. Goes strong to the basket and draws the foul, and she'll shoot two. 3.38 left in the contest. And Izzy Smith at the line. That one's no good. Her second shot. Doesn't go down. Again, if they'd hit their free throws, the JV would be in a lot better shape here in this game. But kind of cold from the free throw line tonight. Salisbury grabs the rebound. The missed shot. Long pass down the floor to Slattery. Over to Smith, who puts it up. No good. Rebound comes down to Strayer. Gets it over to Schweller. Schweller back the other way. And timeout from the Paulding Panthers. Waited till Schweller got uh, across half court. Called the T.O. Quick 32nd. Two timeouts remaining for the Panthers. Again, this is the first of two games here tonight at the red zone. We'll be sticking around and we'll also have coverage of the varsity matchup for you here on Hicks TV. And thanks to our Terrific underwriters, we cannot thank them enough. Community Memorial Hospital here in Hicksville, Ohio. 65 years serving the Hicksville area's health care needs. And the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. 3.09 to go. So I'm hoping my voice holds out for about three minutes and 10 seconds. Loose on the floor, but grabbed back up and then stolen away by Monroe. Monroe holds up, gets it to Salisbury, shots up and good. Salisbury hits the bucket to make it 15 to 12 and cut the lead to three. And a timeout on the floor. All by Paulding. And this will be a full one minute timeout. Fifteen to twelve, our score. As we have a timeout on the floor, Paulding wanted to talk things over as the Aces have uh, battled back and now within three points of tying this game up. So back to being a one-possession game. Panthers will get ready to break huddle, as do the Lady Aces. It'll be Paulding's ball at the baseline with 2.49 left to go in this junior varsity game. Inbounds to Schweller. Back over to Bakel. They move it down the court quickly. Manns on the wing. Looking things over. Tosses it over to Schweller.
Schweller. Two mans. Taking some time off the clock here. Inbounds and stolen away comes up. Monroe grabs it, gets it over to Smith. Smith, pull up jumper, good. Smith now with seven points on the night, and that draws the Lady Aces to within one. Schweller tries to feed it down low. It's stolen away by Slattery. Slattery going to try to go coast to coast. It's knocked away from behind and out of bounds. Stays with the Aces with a minute 36 left in regulation. Monroe to handle the inbounds chores. Monroe gets it into Smith. Over to Slattery, back to Smith. Smith shot up, no good. Out of bounds. Stays with the Aces. Minute 30 left on the clock. Inbounds to Monroe. Slattery, turnaround jumpers, no good. Jump ball, and again, possession arrow favors the Aces. So Hicksville with another crack at it from under the basket here. Shot up, and that's going to be well short. Partially blocked, I think. Schweller across half court, bounces it down into the corner. Shot is up, no good. Paulding keeps it alive. Mann's now on the wing. Inbounds. And no doubt about that, that's a big-time foul on Kelsey Monroe. That'll send uh, Katie Strayer to the line. <clears throat> Excuse me. And timeout on the floor. 104 left in regulation. Panthers leading, but the Aces have closed it to a one-point game, 15-14. And Hicks, or excuse me, Paulding's Katie Strayer will be at the line shooting a couple when we come back out of this timeout. Full one-minute timeout. Both the uh, Aces and the Panthers have one timeout remaining after this. Over on the far side, the stand's starting to fill up. Upper deck is going to be here for the varsity game tonight. They're getting themselves in place. So we should have some nice musical entertainment. Part of the varsity matchup here tonight. Our first chance to see the 2018-19 edition of the Lady Aces varsity squad coming up this evening. Ready to get back into action. Minute four left in the game. And again, Katie Strayer at the line shooting two for Paulding. Panthers are up by a point. First shot, no good. Strayer gets one more. That one's no good. Rebound. And another foul. And that's going to be on the floor. That'll be another one on Monroe. That'll be a common foul. It's only team foul number four, so no free throws yet. Schweller gets the ball. And that'll be a foul. Again on the floor. So Paulding will have it out of bounds. Of 
under a minute to go here. And that'll send her to the free throw line, I do believe. Nope. But team foul number six, so should the Aces commit one more foul, they'll put the Panthers into the bonus, and they'll be shooting one plus one. An ugly series going down the floor, but the Aces managed to retain possession. And as Iker started to move towards the baseline, the Aces call their final timeout. And this again will be a one minute full timeout. As Coach Miser going over stuff with his squad. The Lady Aces will have the ball when we come out of the timeout. It's a chance to tie or retake the lead. A bucket will give them a one-point lead here. So we'll see how things go. We'll get ready to come out of the timeout. Teams will break huddle. And it'll be the Aces ball. They'll inbounds it from right in front of their bench. Into Slattery to Iker. Cross court, Slattery. Off the iron, no good. Mans with the rebound for Paulding. And we're going to have a whistle and a foul on Keysbury, I believe. And that'll put the Panthers into the bonus. So they'll be shooting one on one, and that'll send uh, Claire Schweller. To the line. 28.1 seconds. Schweller shooting one and one. For the Panthers. Her first shot. Good. So she'll get the bonus. Gets them both. 17-14, and the ball goes out of bounds. Coach Miser telling his girls, calm down. 24.5 seconds, only down by, a, by three. Schweller. Foul on Slattery and the reach in. And again, they'll put Schweller on the line. 18 seconds. Gets the front end. Six points now for Schweller. And another free throw coming up. Misses that one. Monroe grabs the board. Aces down by four. Two possession game here. So they're not going to have a lot of time to waste. Shot up, no good. Goes out of bounds. Should stay with Hicksville with 9.2 seconds. Paulding's ball. 
Inbounds to Schweller. Schweller. And she's going to get fouled by Smith. That'll put Schweller back at the free throw line with 3.5 seconds to go. She gets the first one. And this is the second one. Slattery, and the time expires, and that's all. So your final score in the junior varsity game, it's the uh, Lady Panthers beating the Lady Aces 19 to 14. Do some quick calculations here. And I'll get you some unofficial scoring. All right, for the Lady Aces. <coughs> Their leading scorer tonight was Izzy Smith. Uh, she had uh, two buckets and three free throws for the course of the game for seven points. A bucket and two points each for Avery Slattery and Patience Salisbury. Two free throws for two points for Macy Eicher. And a free throw and one point for Kelsey Monroe tonight. And on the Lady Panthers side. Their leading scorer also with seven points was uh, Claire Schweller. Schweller had a bucket and five free throws for seven points tonight. Katie Strayer, two buckets for four. A bucket and two points for uh, Zoe Vaya and for Maggie Manns and for Lily Rorig. And two free throws for two points for Olivia Bakel. So there you have it. 19-14, the final score. Want to thank you for... Uh, being with us for our debut broadcast of the 2018-19 basketball season. I know, like I said, I sound terrible, and I apologize for that, but doing the best that we can. We wanted to make sure we got the game in for you tonight. And again, uh, Jim Seiler, hopefully he will be doing better, and he'll be with us for a lot of basketball coverage throughout the course of the year. Big thank you once again to uh, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, and at jimschmidtauto.com, and New Community Memorial Hospital of Hicksville at www.cmhosp.com. Underwriting our sports coverage. And with that, I'm going to spare my voice as much as I can because we still got a varsity game to go. So we'll wrap it up one more time. Final score here tonight in the JV game. The Lady Panthers of Paulding beat Hicksville. 19-14 to 14 the final score. And for Chris Warner running the camera, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television wishing you good night and good sports.